we took freely available Landsat imagery and we developed this range-wide model that covers a vast spatial extent and a really wide temporal window to develop these fine scale maps of habitat suitability for an endangered species in an environment that's changing all the time. So I'm a research biologist slash project manager for the University of Idaho, and I work on this endangered Ridgeways rail in the southwestern United States. It's a species that needs attention. It is an indicator species of marsh condition throughout the whole Colorado River system. I know they're, they're a marsh bird, they're, they're like the size of a chicken, but they're high up the food chain in these marshes. And so if rails are doing well, it's indicative of a healthy system. So if we can develop products that help us manage marshes for the rails, it's also going to help protect habitats for other species. And we were really focusing on, okay, how do we take effective tools and apply them in space and time to maximize their benefit to the species? So we paired this spatially extensive on the ground sampling data with really extensive satellite imagery to develop range wide habitat suitability models that can inform management actions uh, throughout the range of this species. We needed a product that was accessible, available, covered our area of interest, and our time frame of interest in Landsat really fit that perfectly for us. And we built this tool that is accessible to managers and they can view it and it's updated annually so they'll have up-to-date predictions of habitat suitability throughout the entire range of the species so they can really focus in on the areas that need management, that don't need management, that perhaps need on the ground confirmation. It should be a powerful tool to more effectively and efficiently allocate limited resources to ideally one day get this species fully recovered.